Importing a delimited text file. Often we receive tab, comma, and other format delimited text files that we want to be able to import into Excel so that we can use Excel's functionality such as functions, tables, and charts with that data. When you have something such as this file, which is our sales data in a common delimited format, we can easily import that into Excel. To begin, choose the worksheet inside of the workbook that you want to have include the data. Click the cell where you want the data to appear. Under the Data ribbon, choose from the Get External Data section on what kind of data it is that you will be importing. As you can see, we have several choices from Access, from Web, from Text, or from other sources such as XML or SQL Server. Most delimited files are imported from text. You will then have to find where your delimited file is saved on your computer and click Import. The Text Import Wizard will walk you through the steps of best determining the settings needed to import your data. First, you'll choose the file type that best describes your data, delimited or fixed width. We know this is a comma delimited file, so we'll choose delimited. You can choose to start your import at specific rows, or choose a different file origin. Usually this is easily determined by Excel, but you may want to change it if it is not coming up correctly. You may also want to check that your data has headers, if header data is included in the file, which we can see in ours that it is. Then click Next. You'll have to choose what kind of delimiter is available in your file. Ours is a comma delimited. You should see the data preview change and the data sort itself out into a more reasonable format. If you want to treat consecutive delimiters as one, you can check this box, which will remove any blanks that may be present in your file. If you have other delimiters, you can input them in this box or text qualifiers here. Then click Next. If you want to be able to specify data formats such as text or specific dates, you can do so by clicking on each individual column and changing the data format. When you're done with this step, click Finish. Excel will then let you determine how and where you want to import this data. In this case, we're putting it into an existing worksheet in the cell in which we had clicked. You can also choose to put it in a new worksheet or to add this data to the data model if you'll be using this data as an external data source. When you've made your selections, click OK and Excel will bring the data into your worksheet. You can now make any changes to this just like it was a regular Excel worksheet to begin with.